Hello, this is Jonathan from Ultimate Gamer Play. Um, if you don't like tutorials or just don't like Minecraft at all, don't watch this tutorial because it's only for the new guys and girls. And yeah, if you know a lot about Minecraft, you should probably not watch this. Thank you. Minecraft Redstone and Redstone Torches, the basics. Easy tips and tricks. Here we have an easy setup, and if I plant a redstone torch there, you see the piston will be activated automatically. And when I press that lever, it stops. So, this is good for little spaces and uh, pistons as uh, should be activated all the time. As you might see, redstone repeaters delays the redstone activation. So, there is many uh, things you can do with this. Um, this is an example. It's a timer or a clock, as uh, people would say. It works like this. Um, let's put a note clock here and a button here. So yeah, it activates the clock all the time. And uh, yeah, it works with everything as can be activated by uh, redstone. If you add more redstone repeaters, it will increase the delay of the redstone activation. So while doing this, you can uh, make traps as uh, maybe it should just last a little bit longer. You have to break the redstone to make uh, the timers I just showed a little bit closed off. Uh, but this is some version when you actually can have a lever and uh, still have the clock to... Yeah, it works like this. Just turn it on and off. So this is good for uh, repeatedly, repeatedly activation of anything. Certain activations at different time. This can be really useful in traps and so on. It's easy to use. Is uh, unnegative thing is it takes space. It's hard to hide, and you need to break the redstone to make it stop, unless you do the version uh, show you with the lever. I bet many of you are really sick of redstone repeaters and uh, think they are stupid and takes a lot of material. So this is another way you can do it. Uh, you take uh, redstone torches and some blocks over it. And you connect the redstone to the blocks uh, as the redstone redstone torches is standing on. So, yeah, that's a pretty easy way. But, uh, yeah, many of you might like this version even more. So, yeah, it's just easy to have a redstone like this. Um, as I said, this is a... Uh, tutorial for the people as don't understand redstone so don't get upset of this so yeah it's good for moving four blocks at the same time hello chicken um to make a spamming effect you can do this sort of method that chicken i missed um redstone the sides of the redstone torches and on the blocks it makes a really funny and spamming effect. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. So yeah, this is how it works. Um, you gotta figure something out there. I don't know what to use it for. So many of you have uh, asked uh, how you make a big wall of pistons or dispensers to work, and I'll show you. Um, you have to make like rows behind it. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't really know how to explain how to put this, but you can see, you can see on the. Yes. So you put redstone torches on the blocks. Oh, sorry. Um, you put it like this. So. Now the, all the pistons are activated, as you might see here, yes, uh, and 
To turn it on and off, we have to plant redstone on top of these blocks. So, I will do that. When you're done with that, you have to make, like I do right now, three blocks, two on it on top of each other, one redstone repeater, one more block, a redstone torch, one block on top of that, uh, a redstone torch on that block as well, and a block over that. So you make the same construction uh, on this as well. So yeah, you put redstone to the lowest block where the redstone at its place yeah you see it works so this is the big wall but as you see, as you see um, some pistons don't activate so you can't uh, make the wall as wide as you want only as high as you want. so this is the maximum um, uh, it's not really good for anything. Thank you for watching this tutorial. This is Jonathan for Ultimate Game You Play. Please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave a comment. I know this wasn't the best tutorial ever, but please be cool, guys. See you next week.